Yo. Hi, we're back. Beard bros, banjo kazeared bros. <laughs> What's cracking, homies? If you haven't figured it out, we lost our minds a long time ago. We're two crazy people speaking into microphones in the dark. Ooh. Ooh. And one of the guys in the room is on parental control and he won't give us footage <laughs> for it. Ooh. <laughs> Hashtag Frazier's tape. Find it's there somewhere. Hashtag Frazier's secret tape. Hashtag THPS. DVD. Hashtag you it's say a DVD. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Is that what you just yeah, hashtag? Secret, ha Frazier's secret. Frazier's secret tape. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Frazier, what if you and I played one v one in Tony Hawk Pro Skater two? And then the winner gets and the, the winner. If I win, the winner gets to see the tape. But then what happens if he wins? What What do you want? What humiliating of me, Frazier? Can I show the world? How about this? How about this? How about this? If I win, I will show Gerard's big date. Not everyone's seen that. I've Gerard's seen that. Gerard's big. Post it as your welcome trailer. You're, as my welcome trailer on Beard Bros? Yeah. No, no. Oh, fuck you. No way. No way. No way. I will do it on Beard Bros. I will not. Uh, my brother, guys, one sec. Hey, Jock, what's up? I'm playing Beer Bros. What's going on? Straight up answering the phone. Yeah, it's okay. What's up? Yeah, uh, we, uh, do you, do you want to come to the office or what do you want to do? This is what it's all about right here. This is the real life. Uh, Alex is here with me. We're just, we're beer brosing. Frazier's here. But uh, Jet. Uh, Mark and Patrick. Jinjo. Okay. All right. See ya. Confirmed. Jock Khalil coming to the office. It's 2016. He will arrive one day. All right. Should we go in here? Yeah. So. As I was saying, you're gonna put Gerard's I big date Gerard's as your channel date, trailer, not as the TOVG channel trailer. I will put it as the Beer Bros channel trailer. You will put Gerard's big date as Gerard's the Beard Bros big date trailer. as the as the channel trailer for Beard Bros, and I'll leave it for a month. Tony Hawk Three, damn. Got it looks like we're both getting compromises. <laughs> Honestly, I just want it to happen. I really just want to see all right this fucking video Banjo Banjo Kazooie finale confirmed. Okay, we're doing this. Okay, great this is how it's gonna be 1v1 1v1 Frazier versus Gerard if, THPS if I win three? Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 If I you know it's already happening. It's already happening. We already had this discussion. It's we're already there Yes, you just did you said you consider it all you have to do is skate or die Frazier <laughs> Yeah, you just have to skate it's better. Brick. Just like it's, it's just, you have to pull a Disney Channel brick. You have to live life on the brink. How do we end up doing this again? Is this is a different. I, one? I, I didn't beat it. I failed. Remember? Oh, that's right. This mummy sucks. He's not a mummy. He's oh, right, a mum, he's a mum mum. Mum's the word when you're dealing with. Were they worried that like ancient Egypt was gonna sue them? Questions for Grant. I don't know. I don't know how many answers he has. I'm sure he can only have as many as he wants, you know? Dude, Mumbo's right there. Bro, you got this. Just avoid that oh, off-brand mummy. Oh, shoot. You got this. Oh, shoot. You got this. Just avoid the off-brand mummy. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go. Off-brand mummy, go away. Did you know that my dad, like, that's my dad to a T? He watches sports and he goes, go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go. He says, like, he starts, like, with, like, go, baby, 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 go. He, like, turns into, like, he a turns turkey. into a propeller, a propeller helicopter, or a helicopter and just, like, flies away. Yeah, he just, uh, we've had to move twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, but I, I get it. No, I'm just kidding. Right. Uh, it's not, a, it's a joke, but it's not a joke, yeah. but it's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta look out for that sand. Why does it hurt you? 
It's quicksand. Still. It's hot quicksand. See, it's okay. steamy. Ah, it's steamy. Steam. It's a steam burn. Steam. Feel the burn. Frazier, how about this? I... How about this? If I lose... I... You're not gonna lose. You realize it. You're not gonna Frazier. Frazier. If I lose, not only will I show... Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is unfair. Hold on. No. No, this is fair. If I lose, I will not only play Gerard's Big Date, I will also play House Gods. What is House Gods? House Gods. House Gods is the very first YouTube video I ever made. It was a collaboration between me, Michael Barrett, Zan Alda, and my uh, Alan Barstow, and my buddy Fred Razine from high school. Okay. And uh, it was the first time I worked with with Michael Berry on anything, and it was a 24-hour Apple-based film festival, and you had to take three elements from this festival and apply it to your movie. And so our movie was called House Gods, and it is a movie about a man who uh, flushes down his girlfriend's gifts in the toilet. And so he needs the house gods to come together and make make uh, presents for him and his girlfriend so they can have a good anniversary. So I play the main character. Okay. And uh, the three things were it needed to have a Dutch angle, uh, it needed to have ice in it and somehow, and the main character's name, oh, and, and a montage. That's what it was. Okay. So... Uh, the thing was, is that Michael Barity, for some weird reason, really, really, really wanted to film us doing the whole thing backwards, but forwards. So, for instance, <laughs> what we would do is... Like, learn how to say the line backwards? Yeah, like, cake bak tuach is how about cake. So, if you say cake bak tuach and switch it, it goes, how about cake... All creepily and so the entire movie is that way except I was the worst at it and I had lines I couldn't do it because we had 24 hours to make this thing <laughs> and I was too tired some of them I did fine but like I'm like house gods I need a replacement gift and we just put like the <laughs> noise in backwards <laughs> it was horrible but it's my very first YouTube video I think it has like 5,000 views somewhere we I were in the top that. 20 for this competition. We almost won. You know what you should do? Huh? Instead of that, you remake it? You should show that uh, 300 video. Three times 100? Yeah. <laughs> that's what you should show. Three times 100? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what Three you should show. Three times 100 is me being a sexist jerk. Yeah, that's the one that you should show on the internet. If if if, if you guys want to go down my dark YouTube past, there's It's a literally either Frazier on the internet pretending to be a sexist jerk or you being on the internet pretending to be a sexist jerk. I hope everyone knows, general High disclaimer, stakes. that we are not sexist jerks. <laughs> it's just... Believe whatever you want. No, we're not. <laughs> no. My life is an open book. What are you... If you read my... If you, if you like, come out of everything that... I put out there and you think that I'm a sexist jerk, I can't help you at this point. <laughs> like, like I, I I, feel like in no way do I ever seem to be a sexist jerk. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, no, I hear you. I live, I live, this is the real me. My heart's on my sleeve, baby. This is us. What is our lives? What are, what are we? What are frogs? What are frogs? God damn, you, you who were, saw that? You were right there. You were right there. You didn't even fucking flinch. <laughs> Yeah, Just, man. What are frogs? What are frogs? Do, 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 do. Patrick, did you play that for everyone? I don't think you did. We were worried about copyright strikes. Is that like... Was that in... What What? What game was that in? It was a couple episodes ago. It was ban was that in Banjo or was that in Paper Mario? I think it was Banjo. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to look into that because if you guys didn't see that, that's so funny. It's just so hard for me to remember what episode what joke is from because it just all runs together because it's just us chatting. Dude, three times a hundred would be a good one to show of how bad I look. That is like the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's like it's I forgot you saw that. Nothing has ever been more clearly made by young dudes than that. That is like the most like. A what does bunch that mean? Of, it's just like it's very funny, and it was clearly made by a bunch of like dudes hanging out one day who had like a hilarious idea. <laughs> 
that's what it is. It's like it's like it's like that rare time when you are like fucking around in your room and you're like drunk or ha close to it. Have you seen Gerard's big date? Yes. That's literally what that is. Yes. Oh my god, my first movie. Frazier was in that movie. You know my first movie, Alex? The Where's Waldo serial killer movie? Yeah. Another great one. But it's just, that 300 one, because of the subject matter, is so fucking perfect. Okay, so I'll explain 300, but I, I don't want to... So, uh, back in the day, I wanted to make a uh, internet show about the internet. It was about these two guys named Ari and Stone, and their whole bit was... Oh, death. Their whole bit was... They wanted to, like, stop the world from imploding because they thought the internet was going to take over. And so every episode was, like, a conflict with the internet. So one episode we wrote was my character, Stone, wanted to uh, solve the movie 300, and he wanted to make a porno called Three Times 100. And it was about uh, King Dickonitis. <laughs> and how he wanted to... Uh, he want <laughs> King King Dickonitis. Yeah, yeah, King Dickonitis. Yeah, he wanted to uh, affordably and respectively take out a hundred women with two of his buddies, but he didn't have a budget. So he had to somehow spend less than three hundred dollars on food for a hundred for a hundred and three people. And it was it was shot on a it was purposely shot bad. And I think that's the thing no one realizes that we actually made an effort to make it look bad. It um, is so funny. <laughs> um, I can't believe so it exists. The sad truth about three times a hundred was that we never actually finished it. Um, so what is online is a, a near final of near final draft, but there's no voiceovers. It was supposed to have a voiceover um, explaining the entire plot of the movie, and that never happened because unfortunately, um, Michael Barrett and I our our hard drive was stolen from um, Michael's film school, and so we lost all of our footage. Yeah, um, I remember we when lost, that happened. We, we lost uh, all of season one, and we had three seasons of the show wrapped, filmed, and edited, and we were going to release them on the internet. And this was back in 2008, 2009, so we were like, this is pre-YouTube. We were trying our yeah, best to- I didn't even, it's so funny, because I didn't even know you at the time. Yeah. But I know I knew Barity, and, and like, I remember when he lost his drive. Yeah, it was a horrible day, um, but uh, it was really cool because Michael's friends, all of Michael's friends were very supportive of him, and they they reached out to me, and we ended up buying Michael a new laptop and hard drive, and all of his friends actually for the for the remaining of the uh, that school year, actually helped us launch a original season of Arian Stone. So Arian Stone, happy in some capacity, still exists. Um, you can actually go there right now, youtube.com slash Arian Stone, and you can watch the eight or nine episodes as well as three times a hundred. Um, <laughs> it's there. It's it's really there. What is the issue here? Uh, I'm supposed to like get out of here before I die, but I'm just going to die because it's faster. Sick. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of embarrassing things I've done. But to be fair though. Oh my ooh. god. Wow. So that's a death. Um... To be fair though, I'm very proud of Arian Stone. When the completions took off, I actually reached out to Michael and I said, Hey, what if we wrote back Arian Stone? And his response was, No way, dude. We're not, going, we're not going back down that path. It's cursed. It's cursed. And I was like, Yeah, but you know, you're bladed media. You did what if the Star Wars episode one was good, two, three, two, like we can, and I'm the completionist and we have a team now. We could, Arian Stone, we could bring it back. And he's like, Nah, man, there's Amir, there's, uh, what's his name? Jacob and Amir. There's Smosh, like, there's already the community duo out there that can do a well-produced show like that, and it can't be us. So, I don't know. Let's see. What do you, what do you guys think? You want to see Arian Stone Kickstarter? <laughs> <laughs> Go watch the horribleness first, and then we'll... It'll be like the X-Files. It'll be nothing like how it is, you mean? No, X-Files is good. It's just like Mulder has, like, jowls now. Jowls? Yeah, he's just, he's just getting a little long in the tooth. He's getting old. Yeah, I hear you. All right. What, what do we have so left to do? So the we got agreement, though, yeah. is, Frazier, is that if we showcase all of my horrible things for your one thing... Yours is already online anyway. Yours is not online. Oh, sure. Right. So what, what does it matter? Because no... The point is, is that <laughs> I will take this as exposure. I will show myself to my audience. I never actually promote these videos. 
if you search for it, yeah. But I'm telling you, Frazier, is that 130,000 people on Beard Bros will watch this. What if I reenact? No. Because <laughs> I have the script. Shot shot no, no, I want to see it. Can we just watch it in private? If, yeah, if he beats you? No, but then the world will cry, Frazier. They're already crying. <laughs> no, they're crying because they don't have it. It will cry more. <laughs> you guys don't understand how amazing it is. It to is be fair, to be fair, it was aired on national television. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so hopefully someday we'll we'll find Frazier. If we if if even if this Tony Hawk throwdown never happens, Frazier, I'll get you. Okay. I'll get you, you cocksucker What if I fish. play? What if I play one-handed? <laughs> You're not gonna Tony win. Hawk. You're not gonna beat him. Okay, what if one what hand? What side are you on? I want to see parental control. <laughs> <laughs> the the world you wants. Quit. Give up. No, Gerard. What do we need to I do? Refuse. What what else do we need to do in in in, in Gobi's Valley? Uh, we have to find one Jinjo. Okay, the orange Jinjo. Yeah, and uh, we need to find with that. Seven notes, and then one more jiggy after that, and then we're done. Okay, it's the orange Jinjo? Yeah. And we're missing two honeycomb pieces in this one. Okay, so the orange Jinjo, first of all, is oh. in the Sphinx. It's in the Sphinx? Oh, yeah, you gotta got raise inside? the first magic carpet by spitting eggs in the Sphinx head and then look behind you. I don't know if we got. Remind me when we go back to uh, Freezy Z Peak to get the other honeycomb. I don't think we got it. Or no, we did. Yeah, we did. Um. Yeah. Wait. Right. Yeah. And then and then the other one is inside a cactus, which I'm trying to get to. Yeah. After hitting the switch behind the pyramid. Yeah, which I. I'm a little lost, but I know where to go. So we haven't gone actually inside the Sphinx's. Uh, inside the Sphinx temple. Right. So if we do that, that'll not only get us the last Jiggy, but it'll get us the last note and the last Jinjo. Yep. So this this so we're basically done almost. Well if we hurry we can get back to Freeze Easy Peak too and smoke that polar oh, bear. Oh that's true. Just bop him. With I'll our fast shoes. Yeah. Shoe bops. Shoe bops. Kids bop. No, not quite. You guys remember kids bop? Do you guys remember when Fraser on Product Control and we haven't seen the footage of it? Question of the day, what's your kids bop number? Um, forgive me, Alex, for uh, sounding really ignorant. What the hell is a kids' bop number? Well, uh, there's got to be a kids' bop that like has the songs on it that are like relevant to your age. Pro strats. Wow. You thought I was gonna die? I did. You were clenched. I wasn't that clenched. I was you more thinking about kids' bop. <laughs> you son of a gun. Um. Yeah, the Kids Bop number is whatever, what what number Kids Bop is like your Kids Bop. You mean the one that I heard? Like the one that is like, has the songs on it that are the songs that... I'll tell you, I've heard about, I've heard Kids Bop maybe one or two and that's about it. Yeah. I know there's like 50. Yeah, there's tons of Kids Bop, so that's what I'm saying, like, you gotta find the one that has like, the songs that are most relevant to you on it, and that's your Kids Bop number. Same thing with now. All right, so how do I get inside this? I have to open the nose. You have to shoot eggs in its head. Okay, so I did this and got the jiggy, but I never went inside because I died. So we're gonna do this right now. You got this. Bree <laughs> bree, my nose is all blocked up. Did I just get the... Yeah, I did. I got the left and right nostril in one go. That's clean. Thanks. Okay, so now the door opens up, then look behind you. What do you mean? It says, in the Sphinx, raise the first magic carpet oh, by... Oh, in the Sphinx. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, I always remember doing this part last, so... Raise the Sphinx and then look behind you. So, so shoot. So, to get the Jinjo, go stand on that carpet, shoot the egg, and you'll go up, and then it'll be behind you. 
Ecom Ork. Only the cleanest. Only the cleanest of the clean survive. Only the cleanest of Mr. Clean survives. Did I ever tell you why Soul Calibur has one of my favorite things about it? It's the fact that uh, every time you do, uh, <coughs> every time uh, like a match starts I across like ages, there is only one like that guy yeah. who just says total bullshit. He's just like. Within the power of the mightiest of gods, one man will succeed in the triumph for justice and for all. I like to imagine that he's just a guy who, like, never got a job, like, as a voice on trailers. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Crack myself up with this stupid singing that we do. How do we ever start doing that? Just total nonsense. Okay, what else do we need to do? I need to play better right now. I'm too focused on whether or not one day the internet will see Fraser in his glory. I'm proud to control. Fraser, what if you got a job out of it? What if someone gave you a job? I'm sure there's a lot of dating shows that are looking for guys with swearing problems. Did you ever- I'm sorry, Fraser. <laughs> Fraser to give me the worst look of like, you asshole. So how did you ever- how did you ever, like, overcome... <laughs> ...your swearing problem? <laughs> <laughs> how did you ever overcome your swearing problem? It's- I love- it- the- the whole premise is so passive-aggressive. Of the show, that like, your parents don't like your boyfriend, so they like, Go through all this bullshit to, like, get you to date some other dude once. And then, like, what's gonna happen? It's never gonna be, like... Like, I would love to see if anyone ever in the history of time got married to the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, the new dude they brought in. You got paid for that, right, Fraser? What well, Barely. Were you made money. Like did you make rate? like did you make like TV money or it's just day rate? It's like like 110. Oh, oh for for two days. Yeah. Did you do everything in one day? No. They pay you, they pay you 300 for so they pay you 100 a day. MTV. You know that's the whole reason that we like they don't have those shows anymore. Why? It's because, like, we all, the people who would watch them now, like, we all know because we all, like, have a friend, like, Frasier, who was on one of the shows, and now we know they're all, like, totally, like, fake. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we we already knew they were fake, right? Well, like, I think, like, you know that to some degree they're fake, but, like, I know Frasier. He doesn't vote himself the best at things. The one-man vote? Yeah. <laughs> he's still, he's... He's doing it right now, you guys. No, does anybody actually do that? The I think that was vote? like no. I think that was invented for like douchebags in sitcoms. You never did that. You're lying. Look, I watch a lie to me. I'm an expert at of uh, LA Noir. We're perfect dicks. Yeah. yeah. We know all about lying. Alright, let's bump. get this last uh, puzzle piece and call nope. it a day. Hell yeah. Two. Dude, we're fucking There's killing it. We've got three more worlds left to this. There's two puzzle pieces. Two puzzle pieces? We just got one. From Freeze Easy Peak? Oh, there's one inside and one on the outside. Oh, well then that- we should stop here then. Oh, and there's only one more! What do you mean? There's only one more there's, puzzle piece. No, there's two! There's the race, and then what's the other one? The external one on the outside. Oh, I thought that was it just now. No, no, next time on Beard Bros, we'll- Alright, next time on Beard Bros. We'll, we'll tackle Yeah, next time on Beard Bros. Alright, later, later man. man.